Okay, so hello everybody. Uh, my name is Eva and I'm the owner of La Mexicana Taco Bar. And today we're here because I'm going to try to teach you guys how to make uh, guacamole. I've done it many old time in different videos and um, we actually have a regular uh, guacamole class here. But of course, because of the coronavirus, we can do it right now. So I'm going to try to teach you guys uh, how to make a simple guacamole at home. Uh, and then we're going to start with the hash avocados. Uh, they are the ones that we use. They're uh, made in Mexico. Um, we prefer these avocados because the ones that we have here in Florida, they're, uh, they have a little bit more water. So when you're gonna make your guacamole, it's not gonna be as good as, um, as the regular ones. Uh, by the way, this is my first time making a video, so I'm not an expert. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you can uh, text me later. And yeah, just let me know. So the first thing that we have to do is that um, we just need to cut them. There you go. And then uh, we just need to remove the seeds. Uh, and it's very important that they're uh, a little bit soft. They don't, they're not gonna be, they don't need to be super, super right. Um, but for example, because everything that is going to ha is happening with the coronavirus is kind of hard also to find uh, good products. Uh, so uh, what we do is uh, we actually buy our avocados green and we just uh, wait until they're ready and then we use them. So that way we make sure that we always have uh, fresh products. I know that you guys can see half on my face, but I'm just trying. <laughs> It's very simple and we can't forget that avocados uh, they're amazing they have amazing uh, health values they are very good fat uh, oh, this one is kind of okay so sometimes when the avocado is not ready and we try to just take out the the seed it's not going to happen so it's fine i can just save these ones for salad later on if they're not ready we don't have to use it uh, but the idea is that when we press the seed, it have, it's gonna come out super easily because they're ready. Uh, another thing that we can know, or it make us know that an avocado is ready, is you can see the little bottom that they have here. And if you remove it really easily, then the avocado is ready. So I hope everybody is doing uh, okay during this season. I know it's hard. Uh, affects all industry but I think that uh, we're all trying to do our best and it's about just you know being calm trying um, to use our time for different things and yeah I think it's a time also to reflection about our health about our family and well nothing is nothing lasts forever so everything is temporarily so it's just about taking a deep breath and just wait I know there is a lot of tools out there uh, to peel the avocados or to take out the meat of the avocado but I like to go classic uh, you just need knives and a big spoon to take the interior out yeah. you're gonna have it all entire. also if you want to use this for a nice salad I like to do it just like this and you can just like cut it and then you can just display it like that on top of a salad it's gonna look pretty but today we're making what come up So I just wanted to say hi to everybody that is watching right now. Thank you very much for the support. Uh, I also like to thank uh, all my customers because during this difficult time, they're being super loyal. Um, we're doing uh, pickup and delivery right now. And um, 
we haven't been like super super busy but we haven't been slow either so i'm very grateful for that and we're here if you guys need anything we're also donating food uh if you guys know somebody need families that they lost their job please you guys can always uh text us and we're gonna try to help as much as we can So I'm just making a small batch today of guacamole because um, we like to make our guacamole uh, fresh every day. Tastes much better, you can feel it. so funny because uh, every time that I have my class of guacamole um, how to make your own guacamole I tell people that um, that avocados they um, they're associated with um, with the male uh, with male testicles and it's so funny because that's how they, they they know it you know at first in in Mexico because um, the way of their shape and the way how they look so um, oh thank you very much yeah I, I get a lot of questions about uh, how to know if the guacamole is ready or not but as i said you know during this time that we're trying to go to the supermarket just once a week and you know don't be much in contact with people uh at all uh, you can always buy them uh green and you will use it later on uh, my mom sometimes when she wants the avocados to be ready she wrap it around a uh, newspaper newspaper paper and actually it works uh, sometimes also if you want to accelerate the process you just need to try to put them in a warm place um, and they will get ripe uh, faster like for example today we have a delivery for an event um, like for an office and I have these avocados it took me like three to four days to mature them we put them like next to our oven so that way it was a little bit warmer uh, and they get ready faster because as I said it's, it's pretty hard to find uh, good products uh, with all these like if you see you know this one isn't ready because I have to do it like very hard so I'm just gonna save it for salads later on okay so we have a bunch of avocados right now here let me wash my hands real quick different things to mash them I prefer to use uh, uh, this tool right here um, we usually use it for eggs or to add air to our uh, food uh, but I really like to use it to mash the avocados I found it like pretty pretty uh, easy and simple to use and okay so what we're gonna have right now is like I have uh, some uh, lemon juice ready uh, so we just need to add it and as I said always when it comes to cooking I don't think it is good or uh, or bad I think it depends on what you like I we try to do a very um, like a very basic guacamole here because we have some customers that are like a little bit more acid or a little bit more spicy so we can always add something uh, so I just add a little bit just to start to make it easy the process of mash it and also uh, something that we add to our guacamole and it makes it like super good is garlic we usually have uh, we just like blend it with a little bit of olive oil so we add that to our guacamole and it gives a nice taste just a little bit and then of course we need to add uh, salt and pepper 
and as I said, I always add a little bit at first. We have the measurements when we do it in meat batches, but um, because I'm just doing a little bit now, uh, I'm just gonna make it and test it. A little bit of pepper. And that's pretty much it. It's not matching right now. And um, also, I get a lot of questions about how much you know uh, the guacamole needs to be mashed. Uh, I personally like chunky guacamole, and we try to do it chunky guacamole here. Um, sometimes people they don't like it, so we can always like change it, make it how they like it. Uh, but I like it. I like to I like to feed a little bit of the um, the pieces in my guacamole. And we also, um, we never put uh, onions or tomatoes inside of our, our guacamole because every vegetable and every fruit, it has a different time to uh, ferment or acidic uh, levels. So if you put tomatoes here, the life of your guacamole definitely is gonna, you know, it's not gonna be a long life to it. So it's better just to make a pico de gallo on the side and that way, uh, you can always add it on top. It looks pretty. It looks uh, nice. The contrast of the colors. Uh, and if somebody doesn't like tomato, then you just don't add it. But basically, the uh, pico de gallo it will be um, tomatoes, onions, uh, salt, pepper. We add jalapeno and serrano pepper to our pico de gallo. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and cilantro. Okay, so if you guys see, it's like pretty easy. Okay, sure. For next time, I'm gonna try to play the camera a little bit better so that way you guys can see while I'm doing it, but it's pretty easy. Just need to make sure that I don't have any big, big chunks. the people that is asking about um, if we're open yes we're open uh, we're doing deliveries and takeout orders uh, it's better if you guys call us so that way we have your order ready and we just take it out for you we can even uh, bring it to your car so that way you guys don't have to um, come all the way down uh, here and we're also having our lunch menu available uh, all day long now because we know you know it's a a very hard times right now everybody is struggling with money it's not easy we understand that um, so we want to make sure that we can give you guys special prices because we don't have like all menu available so okay guys so i'm just gonna taste these to see how good it is fridge if you want to save it for later just make sure you um, you place it in a container that then you can seal it also helps if you pour it on top it could be like paper towel or we use um, Celtic daily paper so every time that we save it in the fridge uh, through the day we just put it on top so that way it doesn't dry it out and it doesn't get dark if your guacamole is getting darker uh, just with a little bit of time uh, is because maybe you're not adding enough um, lemon juice so you just need to add a little bit more because that's going to prevent uh, the lemon juice and also the garlic is going to prevent uh, the guacamole from oxidating okay so thank you very much guys i'm going to try to just uh, make like short videos like quesadilla ceviche uh, simple things that you guys can do at home while we are during this quarantine be safe wash your hands and as i say if you guys uh know somebody that is in need and it needs that will help we're more than welcome to help so contact us let us know and i hope everybody is safe at home have a good day